Hi everybody, uh, kind of in a treacherous area here, but I'm at the, uh, in Gettysburg, I'm at the uh, location where the first shot was fired um, during the battle 155 years ago on July 1st. It began right here, um, knowing that Robert E. Lee was on his way with the Army of Northern Virginia, John Buford's cavalry set up right here in this area. You can see this is Chambersburg Pike, and I'm just right off of the road with uh, trucks and cars going by. Um, but uh, that night, they were here uh, June 30th, knowing that uh, the Army of Northern Virginia was in the area, and they expected them to come down here this road. And so they slept on their carbines that night, and it was the around 610. It was the uh, Illinois 8th Cavalry, and I and for those of us from Illinois, it's significant because they were formed up, as I understand it, right around St. Charles, Illinois. But they saw the first clouds of uh, dust rising up over Ch Chambersburg Pike, Pike in this area. You can see past there. And uh, then about 30 minutes later, they saw a distinct line that was uh, proceeding down the road, and at 7.20, Four troopers from the 8th Cavalry saw the, the column coming towards their forward position. Um, one of them was mounted on a horse and he reported to Lieutenant Marcellus Jones. Um, I posted this a little while ago. Um, he asked for the trooper's carbine and uh, he rested it on a fence and his, his quote was, give me the honor of opening this ball. He took aim at a and an officer who was on a, a gray horse, he fired the shot and he actually missed. But that was the first shot of the bloodiest battle ever fought on American soil. All of, on both sides, they quickly formed their battle lines. And even though they were quickly outnumbered, they were able to delay the Confederate advance until later on that afternoon. So that's it, just wanted to show you this. It's a hard marker to find, but it's here.